Now let's begin with the demonstration. So we have two view controllers on the storyboard. So the first one with the white background color. We have this arrow right here to indicate that this is the entry point of the app. We have a button, reveal, and we're gonna use this one as an action in order to trigger the custom segue. So every time you press on the reveal button, it's gonna transition it to the new view controller right here with the blue background. And here as well, you have a hide button in order to dismiss the present view controller. So we're gonna to go to the assistant editor. We're gonna have the storyboard and the view controller opened side by side. And here we're gonna create an action. So you're gonna go select the reveal button. And while the button is still selected, you're gonna keep your finger down on the control button on the keyboard. And then you're gonna control and drag and then release. And here you're gonna have this window which is gonna prompt you to create your connection. So that's gonna be an action. Then the name of this one will be perform segue. The type is UI button, and then we're gonna connect. That's it. So we're gonna go back to this one. So for now, we're just gonna leave it blank. We're gonna close the assistant editor. What I wanna do now is creating the custom segue. So we're gonna go to the view controller, select this yellow circle right here at the top. We're gonna select and then keep our finger down on the control button, and then drag and release. So once you are, so when you see this, the view controller, which is glassing up like that. So this is to indicate that you are now on the view controller of the, of your destination. We're going to release right here and we're going to select the segue that we want to create. So that's not going to be push. That's not going to be model either. We're going to select custom. Then you're going to click. That's it. And here we're going to select the custom segue again. We're going to open the right side panel. So here you have all the attributes for the storyboard segue. So that is the attribute inspector. So once you're here, we can then add an identifier for the custom segue. So I'm going to call this one custom segue. And I'm going to go highlight this one again and then copy it by doing command C. And I'm going to go back to view controller. So here I'm going to finish completing creating my IB action. So what we want basically is every time we press on the reveal button is performing a segue. So we're going to write self perform segue with identifier. So that's this function with two parameters. First, an identifier, which is a string, and that's going to be the custom segue. So the identifier that we have just specified in the attribute inspector and for the sender, it's going to be self. And so we're going to build and run just to see how this is performing. So I'm going to click on the reveal button and here my app is crashing. So I've got this error. Let's read what it is. So we have a reason right here that says could not perform segue with identifier custom segue. A segue must be either have must either have a perform handler or it must override perform. So it looks like we need to create a custom class for the custom segue, which is going to be of type UI storyboard segue. We're going to need to create a custom class.